Here's the most underrated success principle in the universe. You ready? Write this down if you're watching. When you are around successful people, their success influences yours. Now, it's, a, it's slightly different than the proximity principle. It says in order to do what Rachel wants to do, she's got to be around people in the music industry. She's got to be in places where the music industry is at and happening. That's the proximity principle. But I'm talking about the intentionality of being around successful people all the time. I mean, on a regular basis. Now, let me break this down. Joe, when Stacy and I first moved to Atlanta, I went to work for the leadership guru, John Maxwell, and we were living in this area at the time when we moved to Atlanta. And I remember John told me this and it stuck to me and it was so good. And I'm so, it's one of the most valuable things he ever taught me. But I was asking him, like, where's a good place to live in this area? Because, you know, the Atlanta area, Joe, I mean, it's sprawling. You know, you got suburbia all the way around Atlanta. Any which way you want to go, there's great suburban neighborhoods and stuff like this. So we we were in the uh, Northeast Atlanta area, suburbs, the Duluth, the offices were in Duluth, Georgia. And so he told me several communities and things like that. And one of the things he said to me, and this is what he said, he said, be very intentional about the neighborhood you want to move in. He goes, now don't, don't overbuy, don't strap yourself. But if you can be in an area or a neighborhood specifically, that is a well-to-do or a, or a really good neighborhood, you're going to be bumping into neighbors by just taking your trash out, mowing your lawn, uh, doing social things, going to play tennis, whatever, with people that are also successful. And that's a good place for you. It's a good place for your kids. Well, now there's been a lot of research that's come out about this. And so I've been very, I've made sacrifices at time to be very specific about the neighborhood that I've always lived in. And I can tell you folks over and over again, of the opportunities uh, by just simply being in a neighborhood where other successful people live. Now, that's just one example. Um, the other thing is, is that just, I, I remember early on when I broke into this whole content scene, I was doing little itty piddly, itty piddly hosting duties to be around these world-class communicators. And I became friends with them. And I got the opportunity to interview them. That's where my book One Question comes from. It was a crazy list of people that were in that book. But I had become friends with them or had associated with them long enough with their friends that they were like, yeah, I'll do this interview with you. Let me repeat what I just said. When you are around successful people, their success influences yours. When people see you hanging around successful people, they go, well, you're clearly not a wing nut if you're hanging around these people. I may want to get to know you as well. There is credibility in association is my point. Don't miss that. So whether it be in your industry or not, hang around successful people like in regular everyday life. Why? Because their success will influence yours. They'll tell you about a book you need to read. They'll give you a parenting principle that'll change your life. Who knows? It's all the goodness that you surround yourself with rubs off on you. We're doing some work in our house right now, Joe, and uh, they're, we're finishing a room over the garage. The other day I went up there to check on it and I wasn't paying attention. I was just kind of walking around looking like, and I brushed up against a couple walls. I got downstairs after I was like, oh my gosh, I got drywall dust all over me. That's the idea. You want to be in the right room with the right people and so that you inadvertently are bumping into them and they're just like that drywall dust, they're just rubbing off on you. Rubbing elbows. Rubbing elbows, man. It's a good thing. So there you go. There's a little nugget for you. All right. My time is almost up. But before I let you go, I want you to know that you matter and you do have what it takes. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, this is the Ken Coleman Show. Press on. Press on.